Hello, Brother Monroe here. Uh, welcome back, not to Ultimate Apple Dreadlords, well, not exactly, but uh, to the Mods Nexus, where I just wanted to say that I've been working away on something uh, with some help uh, from uh, people on my Discord, uh, in particular Omni. Massive thank you to Omni. Um, and I have, uh, with their help, produced the chip pack for the Dreadnought Improvement Project. And what this does is it is a zip file with about 800 or so um, shared design files for you to load into the game. Now, why might you want to do this? Well, the main reason is for performance. It really helps uh, the turns in the campaign, and it also helps loading up custom battles if you have shared designs loaded. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And uh, it, it really improves performance primarily, as in how long it takes the game to do stuff. It also does allow the game to use human design ships, which means that the quality of ships designed by the AI should increase. It's not guaranteed to. Um, even if it doesn't use your designs, it can uh, use them as a template, basically. So it, it helps the AI in quite a lot of ways, and it does make a difference having shared designs loaded in the folder, even if you never, ever see them. So if you want to grab this, it's an optional download on the Mod Nexus page for the Dreadnought Improvement Project. You can just hit manual download and it will take you to the download page and you will download a zip. As I said, it has about 800 uh, files inside it. So you just go manual download. You will need an account, but you just press slow download. It'll do that. And then I will... Uh, I will see you uh, on the uh, place where you need to install it. Okay, so uh, this is the zip file that you get in your share uh, when you download the the file. It's not very big. Um, you can either just double click this and it'll open it up, and then you can just select everything inside it and copy it out, or you can uh, right click and extract the file extract all and then you can choose the path or you can just extract it wherever you want and then move the files across i don't mind all fine but the place you actually want to put the design files inside which you can see in here is this folder here now this is going to be different for every uh everyone who's doing it it's not the exact uh file address because it's stored under your user account it's stored in a really strange place so it's uh c and then users, and then whatever your username is, and then app data, local low, game labs, ultimate average records, and then designs. If you cannot see the app data folder, or you don't know how to access it, then you need to enable uh, showing invisible files in Windows, and I'll very quickly show you how to do that. All right, so if you're not aware, so if you're in your main, um, your main uh, user folder, but you don't see this. If you go view, show, and then make sure that hidden items is, is ticked and then you will see it. Okay, so it's it's a little complicated, but that's where the game puts them. Anyway, what can you expect from it? Well, let's load up the game and have a look. All right, here we are back in game. And you can check to see if the shared designs are installed. You just hit shared designs and you'll see uh, a bunch of ships already there. It doesn't matter what year or anything uh, or what country. There are ships from me for every country every five years or so. Um, and Omni has included an enormous number of ships in the pre-Dreadnought and Dreadnought era. Uh, for, for Again, for all nations. So there should be loads of stuff loaded. So this is the Bizarro. Um, should, you, should you want such a thing? And... Um, yeah, you can have a look at the designs, you can even edit them, you can change them to your to your liking, but you will see that there is a bunch of shared designs. Well, how do you actually use them? Well, uh, there's two ways. In custom battles, uh, you'll see it down here, shared designs selective, that's the default. Uh, there's no need to change it off the default. Uh, the same is true for campaigns. You try and generate a new campaign, the default is selective, and that's very much what the uh, ship pack is designed to do is to use the selective mode which basically means 
if the AI is trying to build a ship and it fails a certain number of times, I believe it's three, uh, rather than continuing to try until it gets a ship, uh, which can obviously increase slow times quite a lot, uh, or increase turn times if you're in the campaign, uh, it will just use a shared design if it can. And if it can is is a big, big, big old asterisk. Um, always, I wouldn't really call it always, basically if there is a shared design it can use, it will do that. And off means that they won't load. So don't use off if you're using this pack. Um, you must be using either selective or always. But if you are on always, uh, this is pretty easy to set up in a custom battle because all you need to do is make sure that you have a shared design which matches the year, the country, and the class of ship. So say battleship or light cruiser or whatever. But the year, country, class must match exactly in custom battles for the ship to be available. In a campaign, however, in a campaign, the AI has to have access to every single technology that was used in the design at the time that it goes to design it. And that is a bit flaky and very unlikely, particularly later on. So uh, please don't think that you're going to be seeing designs, player made designs popping up all over the place. It does happen. Um, it does happen if you put it on always. It doesn't really happen that much if you put it on selective. But as I said, the main thing here is to improve performance and to improve AI design. Because one thing I've noticed is just having access to uh, designs that do work really, really helps the AI builder um, create viable designs. And it does tend to improve the quality uh, because it's not just desperate to get something that works. That uh, And particularly because it's a modded version of the game, so that none of the you know, optimizations that the developers have put into the AI builder are necessarily going to work. Um, but it really does help the AI builder quite a lot to just have examples of what is a viable design. And uh, both myself and Omni have been quite careful to produce, if not entirely sensible designs. I mean, the Nino Bixio here is uh, Funnel City. But, um, you know, they, they are somewhat effective and or fun designs that you can um, perhaps see in your campaign. So a huge, huge plus uh, if you're running a campaign or even if you're just playing custom battles, it really helps to have these loaded. Strongly recommended, but as I said, entirely optional. Entirely optional. And hey, even if you just want to uh, have a look at some designs that I've been working away on or Omni's been working away on, inspiration for your own designs and you're playing the mod you can do that too anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon for some more ultimate admiral dreadnoughts bye for now